Go slow. I, I was just uh, wondering, <clears throat> with all the different chemicals and soaps that you're trying to use in, in an industry like this, where can you learn uh, the proper methods of using them? Uh, what reacts better with what? Um, there's so many different chemicals that it, it's, it's, it's very confusing. Um, it's easy to use them, but you don't want to be dangerous and hurt yourself. And the number one cleaning solvent. Water, you go where the experts for that are at. The UAMCC has groups all over the place where you can actually talk to the guys that manufacture it. You can talk to the guys that use it and use a lot of it. And they'll tell you, they'll be honest with you. So we've had bad reactions here. Don't use it with this or don't use it with that. So it's about, again, like I said earlier, you've got your sources. Well, if you want to know what that chemical works with or what it reacts with, who are you going to ask? You're going to ask the guy that made it. Then you're maybe going to talk to the guy that sells it because the guy that sells it, like Paul, he hears all the stories of guys in the field that had bad reaction with this or bad reaction with that or couldn't clean this or couldn't clean that. And so you, you go to the guys that are the experts. And if you come to a meeting like this and you're talking to people and they tell you that they do one thing mostly, and they tell you what product they use, then they've already used it enough that they know what it does. And, and that way, that's the good thing about the UAMCC is a lot of us up here, we've done tore up and messed up more stuff than y'all will ever do. So just listen to what they say and, and try it. Paul, I'd like you to answer that because you're in a business that, I mean, it's, the chemicals are harsh. I mean, what do you? I mean, you got to be safe, right? You got to be. You can't. You can't kill somebody, right? I mean. Yeah, we we uh, in, in our training we have the safety data sheets. I have a big thing on how you mix and all that kind of thing because you can really hurt yourself on our chemicals. And if you mix them with the wrong things, you can make mustard gas. You know, like they used in the trenches during World War One. So you got to pay attention. But the big thing is read the materials, read the safety information on it. And if you're you're confused, you can always look at the exact chemicals. Those have to be in the safety data sheets. So you look at the exact chemicals. You can look those up in Google and see what reacts with it. So tr safety training is is crucial in your business. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a dangerous business. Wait, training is crucial in our business. In, yeah, in any in any business, yeah. You're not going to succeed if you have people that are fumbling around and don't know what they're doing. And, yeah, we've had people. Oh, yeah, I was wearing my. No. Mask. I got that splash up under my mask. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I have a question that kind of goes back to you on this. How many of you, when you call in and talk to like Bill or Andy or Alex, do they ask you questions about what you're doing and what you're using and how you've done it and what things have worked? Did, do they do that when they talk to you? Yes, no? Raise your hands, yes? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. How did that work for you type of thing? <clears throat> right. So, by, and I can't speak with other distributors whether or not they do that, but we, we try to make it part of our calls to ask about what you're doing and what you're using and what you're using it on, find out how things work, what works better, what doesn't work at all. So that when you call in, we already talked to him and he said, oh yeah, I used EBC on that and it worked like I couldn't believe it. Oh, I tried, you know, whatever on that and it just didn't do anything. So then when you call and you talk about, well, I'm doing this particular job and it's this type of thing, we have a better idea of what works better than others. You know, what's the best chemical for that? It's not always the same thing. Some things are very universal. The only thing that's gonna be universal on all of them is water. Yeah. But after that, it, it can change from job to job. You know, acid on concrete is actually a very good cleaner. Um, caustics and, and stuff are really good for, for grease and oils. Yeah, I'll definitely okay. attest to that. We had uh, Bill send us a, a jug of stuff. He's thinking outside the box, hey, this works for this. Maybe it'll work for kitchen hoods. Well, it didn't, but I, I really appreciated the idea. You know, let's, let's find something better. You got anything? No, I'm good. You haven't been working yet? <laughs> no, I'm done. What do you do, man, to keep that? Are you using a lot of caustic? I'm just curious. Yeah, uh, drop side, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't get away with anything else on maintenance? Um, Sometimes, sometimes a lighter duty, like a nursing home or something, but, um, you know, I've tried all kinds of things. They're not feeding our elderly people fat foods and no, stuff? No, no, 
Well, not as much. Water you know, you got a hundred people in the nursing home. Yeah. Yeah. You got a hundred people, it's not going to be like a Burger King where yeah, a thousand goes through in a day. Um, no, I found, I haven't found anything that works like that. Um, there's some things that actually work better, but they're so expensive, they're not worth it. They're, yeah, they're not viable at all. Do you know what I think? I think with the chemical thing, I think that what a lot of guys think is that hotter sometimes is better or more is better. And it's like what we were talking about with Tim and Andy out there the other yesterday when they were talking about washing and stuff like that. You know, you uh, put more soap on a vertical surface, you're going to spend more time rinsing it. It's not, it's not needed. So you got to find the, uh, you know, you got to find the right mix that works for you or the situation and know what the situation is. Um, Scott doesn't use any chemicals. Graffiti cleaner. Graffiti remover, that's all we use. Wipes. Yeah, well, no, we, we use the hard. Do you? Yeah, it's a bare brick. Paul doesn't sell that. Nope, I buy it direct from the manufacturer. There's a lot of things that everybody here buys. You can't get, you can't get that, you can't get that guy. Can't get Adam to. Maybe it could, but. Hey. Good stuff. Yeah. Hey, Paul, you want but to sell if they have all your business, I'm happy to get some of it. 